Am I, uh, I'm supposed to gargle it? You've seen Shrek before, right? Yeah. Does he gargle the button Shrek? Yeah. Oh, well, there's your answer. But this is like real mud. Uh, listen, Jeff. Are you listening? Yeah. Do you understand how important this film is to the success of your troupe? I do, but usually we use fake mud. Do we usually film you gargling in 1080p? No. All right, Jeff. I know this is hard. This is a hard business. The live action Shrek recreation industry is competitive and it's getting more and more crowded every day. If you don't get yourselves out there, you're gonna be obsolete. And you know the worst thing you could be in this business is? Obsolete? No, irrelevant. Now, are you gonna go out there and gargle mud or am I gonna have to put the face paint on myself? How is he? Not great. He says he inhaled the mud. Well, how much longer do we have the camera? Well, the library closes at six today. Six. Uh, I think that'll be fine as long as he can film again soon. He's not gonna be ready and we all know it. It's time for drastic measures. Who am I looking at? That's Burgard. He's supposed to be villager number two. Yeah, we ain't dressed like a villager. It's cause I'm not villager material. Well, what kind of material are you then? Pure, 100% gold. Gold is good, but gold doesn't have layers. Layers? Layers. You know why you need layers? Because ogres have layers? Exactly. But, but Jeff's been our Shrek for years. Yeah? Well, maybe it's time for a change. You know what the worst thing you could be in this industry is? Irrelevant? No. Complacent. I uh, also have some other ideas. Lay them on me. All right, well, first of all, I don't see why we always have to do this one scene. The, the opening scene best encapsulates the ogre experience. Well, maybe the experience we should be trying to encapsulate is the human experience. You mean within the ogre experience? Exactly. Like a, uh, a layer. I was thinking we could go in a different direction with the uh, atmosphere. Fiona! Take my hand! I can't reach you, Shrek! All right, let's, let's get it again, but better. Fiona! Take my hand! Shrek! I can't! I can't! What's the matter? Why Jeff! <laughs> ah, get out of me, swamp! Someone get him off him. No, no, keep it rolling. This is exactly what we need. Don't you see what he's doing? He's trying to stop us and our progress. He's been content with the same scene for seven years. Because he is the lead. He wants the attention. He wants the stardom that we have worked. This is crazy. We're trying to fix something that isn't broken. This new scene doesn't even make sense. Ogres can't survive in the vacuum of space. This isn't what Shrek would have wanted. We don't do the same scene of Shrek every week because it's the only one available. We do it because it's the best. We should just go back to what we were doing because real ogres are like hobbits. They hate change. Yeah, but don't you think you should let somebody else be a Shrek for a change? What if I'm the best Shrek? Well, Jeff, maybe the best Shrek is French Shrek. What's French Shrek? It's like friendship, but deeper, with layers. You know, guys, I think I have a solution that can make everybody happy. Y'all ready? Somebody right. count down. One, two, a one, two, three, four. Hey, hey now, you're an all-star. Get your game on, go play. Hey now, you're a rock star. Get the show on, get paid. And all that glitters is gold. Only shooting stars break the mold. <laughs> all right, I'll do it.